And ODM leader Raila Odinga's bid to become the next chairperson of the Africa Union Commission has received a major boost after Angola and Guinea-Bissau pledged their support. Guinea-Bissau President Umaru Sissoko Mbalo agreed to support Raila after meeting with President William Ruto, who is currently in the West African country. This support comes just hours after Angola, through its ambassador to Kenya, engineer Sianga Avilio, hinted at backing Raila. As Ketian's political affairs reporter David Muthoka now reports, these two countries now join Uganda, Rwanda and Ghana, making it a total of five nations that have publicly agreed to rally behind Raila. President William Bruto landed in Guinea-Bissau on Thursday and was received by President Umaro Sisoko Mbalo. Top on the agenda for President Ruto during his three-day visit to the West African country was to secure Guinea-Bissau support for ODM leader Ray Laudinga's bid to become the next African Union Commission chairperson. And within 24 hours, President Ruto succeeded in securing Guinea-Bissau's vote. I have had occasion to brief you on the areas that we consider a priority to make our African Union a fit for purpose organization to drive the integration, the enterprise, and the working together for, for purpose of prosperity of the people of our region. The support from Guinea-Bissau comes hours after Angola also pledged to back Raila, Angola's ambassador to Kenya Engineer Sianga Avilio made the announcement during Angola's 22nd anniversary of peace and national reconciliation held at Angola's Nairobi Embassy. I'm going to give you a straight answer. But I just want you to know that uh, Angola is aware and is working on that issue and they will not let Kenya country as a brother down. Angola and Guinea-Bissau now join Uganda, Rwanda and Ghana, bringing the total number of nations that have publicly supported Raila's AUC bid to five. Ladies and gentlemen, uh... in order to win the AUC chairperson seat, Raila must secure at least two thirds of the votes from more than 50 African countries. However, he faces competition from Somalia's former foreign affairs minister and deputy prime minister, Fozia Yusuf Adam, who is also in the race to succeed outgoing AUC chairperson Musa Faki from Chad. David Muthoka, KTN News. Let's take a break.